This is CEO 2015. There's Lord Soji, by the way. One of the item throw pioneers himself. Straight from Japan. Look at this Chad right here, bro, from Japan. Look at that hair, bro. Meanwhile, his opponent. Here comes Daredevil. Maximum thick LK. Look at mad chunky. It's 190 pounds, 200 pounds of LK. So, this is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. There's a little bit of background I gotta give y'all before we start talking about it. There is a very common thought at this time that item throw characters are really unfair. Keeper Security is the leading cybersecurity platform for protecting individuals, families, and businesses against password related cyber attacks. Yep, I'm talking about hackers. These attacks can lead to identity theft, financial loss, and reputational damage. Experts predict too that cyber criminals will increasingly target the gaming industry over the next three years. So with Keeper Security, you can create strong, unique passwords, not the old passwords you've been using since high school, special ones for every account you use where you log in, but you can also keep them stored safely in your own encrypted vault. Visit keeper.io slash beastcoast and use code beastcoast, that's in all caps, beastcoast, for a 30% off promo code. Stay safe out there, my friends. This version Teddy is the strongest 2D fighting game item throw character, I think. I think he's the best. You have Teddy, you have Faust, uh, you have some like characters around there, like Arakune, he doesn't throw a literal item at you, but it's the same idea. Teddy's the best, and then probably CS Extend Arakune, and then probably plus R Faust. So, we must begin with what is dumb about item throw characters. And as a disclaimer, by the way, this is after the LK mind break by Yume in 2013, right? Yume mind broke me and I started leaning heavier into set play characters than I used to. But after I bought body by Yume, I was like, man, this is just the shit. Like, like how do you beat this? LK and Nancy mind break? I think I used the right word. I think I used, I chose my words carefully. But at this point, can't speak for EU, can't speak for South America, but both in the any anime scene and the Japanese anime scene, everyone was like, yo, item throw characters are high key stupid. So what is the issue? So in this game, they raised the character power and the character power is already pretty high in Persona 4 Arena. So he has two sets of items and they buffed the items that the Teddy player said were not good. Sound familiar? They buffed all the items that don't do anything. There wasn't really that many. The main one of note is the curry. And then they gave him a bunch of new items. And then they also gave him two item orders. So he has a set item order and he has two. So in the previous version, your countermeasure was you could at least know what was coming next and be ready. In this version, you don't know what item cycle he's on, but he does. So buffed items that didn't need to be buffed and then two item cycles so only he knows what's coming and not you. The main thing is not him throwing the item as the problem. It's what happens when an item is on the screen. When an item is on the screen, the game state changes. If the opponent can't interact with the item, the advantage is too much in the item throw character's advantage and they just and they just fuck you in neutral. You can't do anything about it besides try to get around and there's nothing to do. He threw two, he has the mini robo and barrel. He can do a left right off it. All I could do is back off. It, it goes until the corner. He gets pressure for nothing. It, by the way, it's her worst matchup to be fair. Um, he does have a couple of bad matchups in this game. Similar to Faust, he could jump to places where characters can't reach, but Faust can't throw items in the air. He can, because they learned their lesson. Faust shouldn't be able to throw items in the air. So then you have a character that has good pressure, good buttons. Uh, he's got counter zoning too. He has two item orders, and then you can't interact with the items for the most part. And you have to just be like, oh, this item's here, so I gotta just get out of the way. And they know that, and they're just gonna yeah. corner you. The way they made Stry Faust work is that the opponent can basically interact with all the items, but the trade-off is that Faust can throw unlimited items. There's no restriction. And he has two that are like mega good for him. The people who super downplay Faust, they want this. They want the, I'm winning neutral all the time. You can barely do yeah. about what I'm doing. But he's just gonna sit here, just flail around. Now he's got barrel, he hides behind it. There it is, you can't see it. He got the bike key. This little thing right here, this is the original trumpet. But when he takes it, it goes back and forth. When I take it, it goes forth. But no matter what, it's always Teddy's bike.
they really learned. I actually think they made Strife House in a really good way, where yeah, you got the items, they do change the game state still, but the opponent can do stuff about them. But Faust is generally pretty good about it, and he has a couple of items that have a pretty good-ish chance. But you have a good chance of getting Hammer out. You don't have a that great of a chance of getting Meteors out, but it's not the lowest percent. And of course, you're constantly, constantly, constantly throwing them out. Item throw characters are very hard to balance, and they understand how good they are now. Because I think when they came up with this, they were like, this is cool because the character power in this game is really high. But like, they definitely had to learn their lesson from, from this and Arakune. I did my best. The barrel still coming from my ass. Super sick. Sick neutral. By the way, I, I actually really respect Soulji. I think he's a crazy strong player. But item throw characters, when they're good, it's like anti-fun. Look at the items that are on the screen. I can't do anything about that or that. So I gotta just watch it. It activates only when I get next to it. The smoke screen can't do shit about it. Get hit. Get I get I, I got paralyzed and I'm fucking confused. So my fucking inputs are backwards and I can't move. Sick. I can't do anything about that shit. And he and he never gets affected by it. By any of it. So the people who are downplaying Faust want items like this so they can yeah. throw them at you and then look at you and tell you that their neutral is godlike. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear any of that, bro. I said it before, I'll say it again. Anti-fun.